Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about inventory today and how I store my books, DVDs, VHS, and CDs. Hopefully after you watch this video, it can help you figure out how you should store your stuff. And, uh, you know, it's really important because you don't want anything to get destroyed uh, while it's being stored. And with these kind of things, particularly books, if you're not careful, you can have some condition problems in storage. So here we go. We got these. Uh, we got these books. I got a whole bunch of bookshelves. Usually, when I buy the bookshelves, I get them uh, usually vintage, and I got some pretty cool ones. But you know, I get these at like tag sales and uh, sometimes at Goodwill, and it sure beats buying the anything new. You know, um, you pay a lot and you don't get a lot. With these old ones, you get a lot. It's uh, real sturdy bookcases. They can really hold a lot of weight, and you know, they're built to last forever. So first things first, obviously you want to have the shelving so that the books fit exactly. You don't want a book that's like this tall, you know, in a shelf that's this tall. So you kind of want to make sure that they're as close to here as you can. See, I got all the big books. I got like all the big books here and uh, smaller books up here. And the same goes for like over here. You know, I put the, I put the smallest books over here and some of these books are real small but uh some of them are worth quite a bit actually got this one it's uh one of my favorite ones vixens of vinyl um but yeah you know uh, i got some pretty big books down here basically the key is the thing that you want to understand when it comes to this this is something that you don't want you don't want books to be leaning um i was just dealing with some inventory but it's really important because what you want to do is, you know, if a book is if a book is leaning, then uh, you know it starts to get warped. You could get damage to it, and that's not good because then you know you might list it as a certain condition and it might deteriorate over time, especially if it's a little slower. So most of these books here are relatively quick, or at the very least, they're not super slow. I have a whole entire section dedicated to just the slow, slow books like. Anything over 2 million, um, maybe like 3 million plus, I have an entire bookshelf dedicated to just those. And I've got them upstairs, and, uh, and occasionally I bring them down from time to time when one of them sells. I'd strongly recommend uh, keeping them separate, because otherwise you'll get them lost, and uh, you, know, you, might, you might have trouble finding it. It's easier to just keep the slow ones in a separate place, at least for me. The next thing I wanted to talk about, if you look here, you can see... I got some of these bigger books. This one is like extra wide and you want these ones always to be right up against the end here. Um, there's a number of reasons for this though. First off, if you have it in the middle, it's gonna like, it's gonna like poke out and if it pokes out too much, you know, it's always gonna be like, it's gonna get like warped and uh, this way it's, it's, uh, it doesn't get warped, doesn't get mangled and the other thing is when you're moving things around, um, you know, you move them around, and next thing you know, um, you can see where it's all warped and scratched up from moving all around. If I have a particularly valuable book, um, you know, I'll leave it right on the edge, because it doesn't get moved around much. So that's another thing to consider, because if you got a book and it's in the middle all the time, it's getting moved around all the time, you're scratching it, you're putting additional wear on it, it's just not good. So, um, that's something to consider with the books. Another thing I want to talk about when it comes to books is books, uh, they need to be basically pushed back so that they're flat behind them. Um, ideally, you want your books, here's a book, you want it to be right up against it in the back because if it's not, what will happen over time is your book will warp. It'll be like that, so it'll like push it, um, kind of like this. You don't want that. That's what happens to a book that isn't pushed flat against the back. So you want, first off, you want it to be right up against the back, and secondly, you want it to be tight, so it doesn't move at all. That'll keep it securely in place. You want to make sure that all your books are like that, if at all possible. You know, I'll sell some, and um, I might not just—I might not immediately fill in the gap, 
but as soon as I get some more books, I always do. We've got some bookends here. You can use bookends if, uh, if you need to. I would try to avoid putting books on the top of a bookshelf and using bookends to keep them on each side because, again, you don't have that backstop to it. Uh, it's very important. Next thing I want to do is talk about the DVDs. Here's some of my DVDs, and uh, I got some more over here, and I also got my VHS here. Now, VHS, uh, you know, just store them however you can, you know. Um, kind of the same way with DVDs. Basically, I got these these uh, storage things at Walmart. I think they were like um, maybe 15 bucks, but you assemble it when you get home, and um, yeah, I mean, it, it does a good job, and it holds a lot of stuff pretty cheap and best of all it goes it goes up really tall so if you're looking for some storage for those uh, you should check that out uh, like I said at Walmart they're real cheap so I mean that can hold a lot of stuff but yeah look at all the uh, look at how efficiently it's all spaced this way you can see everything you got and you don't have to rummage through a box you know what I mean so this makes it a lot easier when it comes to uh, CDs though uh, CDs, they just suck. There's really no easy way to deal with them. Uh, the best way I've found is if you have these. You can come across these from time to time. Sometimes they're at like a Goodwill. But this gives you enough space so you can kind of reach for it. But, again, I mean, I don't know. It's it's tough with those. I usually just have like a stack of them. And I can just, I can just you know, go through them really quickly. So, hey, I mean, whatever works for you. I keep my... Uh, I keep my new CDs in a certain place, and I keep all the used ones in another location. So that kind of helps out, helps you out a little bit. But again, I mean they're a pain. So again, this is just a small part of uh, the books and DVDs and such that I got. Um, all this stuff is listed. So I mean, if you uh, if you get this much junk listed, uh, you know a whole bunch of them will pop each day, and you know you make some money. So if you found this video useful like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, you know, share it with somebody.